that's where it's going to happen, that's where it's going to count. And I think our focus must be on ensuring that we get free and fair elections as far as we can manage. We know we are up against, we are, we are up against a huge wall. Uh, some of us are trying to break that wall down in court, uh, etc. We're trying to do what we can, but it needs everyone to be engaged in the electoral process. Don't forget, elections, the cheating at elections doesn't happen on election day. It, it has been happening since uh, the day after the last general elections. So that's what we're up against. So we need to be vigilant. Uh, political parties must train Pacha agents. We must have people on the ground on that day to minimize cheating. Now, to me, that's where we can bring change. And that's where we must bring change in these next elections. It is critical to save Malaysia, to make a difference in the next general elections. That's where it's going to count. Now, for that, actually, um, I, I may sound like a broken record, but we need the opposition to rise to the occasion. I believe they will. But we need to see it now. Um, and we need to know that we have an alternative government. I know we can do it. Uh, but a lot of people out there are not convinced. Uh, and I suppose it's taking up from what Rafizi said just now as well. Some people are just not convinced enough about the ability of the opposition to take over Putrajaya. So that is something that must be at the forefront of what the opposition wants to do. It's a pity that no one from AMNO, uh, from government, etc., are here to, to discuss with us how they think Malaysia should be safe. But that's to be expected. Now, what, what I would say is this, that we should have a plan, the opposition should have a plan of how we are going to reap bring back some of this money that has fled out of the country. Talking about the problem over and over again is one thing. We've ha heard some solutions, that's very good. But we need to tell the people that we can actually recover some of this money and it can be done. There are ways of doing it. We can look at amnesty programs. There are a lot of things that can be uh, done and that must be on the table for the people to know that you are thinking every minute about how we can save Malaysia and how we can actually do something if you're in government. Uh, so for me, that is very important. And I think for that, you see, my, my fear is that when um, you have these open quarrels with other parties, it's a problem for me. Because at the end of the day, if you're, you're a government, you must be a government for all, including AMNO members, including past members, everyone. You need to show you can be that. But if you are consistently quarreling, quarrel with the leaders by all means, but don't quarrel with the members because they too are suffering. And if that message goes across, and I think, uh, I think Rafizi, you put it just now, they are waiting to vote, but they're not going to vote for you if you keep on hammering at them as a whole. So maybe the language should change because my concern is that's what happened in, um, in the United States. They took for granted, they were laughing and talking down to the rust belt and then see what happens. So don't take anyone for granted. That, that's my, my suggestion. And of course, the other thing I would say is the issue of poverty. Deal with the issue of poverty up front. You're dealing with the scandals, etc., and how it affects people. Yes, poverty is a huge issue. And I'm sorry not to see Dr. Jayakumar here because if I were going to set up a panel on dealing with poverty in this country, I would put him in charge. He has written so much about poverty amongst all races in this country and what we should be looking at. So I would attack that because that's really going down to the grassroots. That's not about politics. That's not about winning elections. That's about caring. And that's what I think we need to show. There are things we can do. Now, as far as the um, 1MDB and so on, I have a suggestion that perhaps if no one is going to look into it, I know PAC has already done that, but perhaps we could set up a people's tribunal like what we did for the elections. But all that will take time. Huh? All that will take time. We may not have time because for me, top priority is elections. Top priority is elections. It can happen in months. It can happen 
Uh, well, it'll definitely happen next year. So for me, we only have months to prepare. And that's not a long time at all. So we need to be election ready. The parties need to be election ready. Then I, then I would say that the China deals really concern me. I don't think people completely appreciate uh, the dangers of the China deals. And I think that's something we must keep exposing. We need to find out what the agreements are saying. They haven't, of course, complete, they haven't entered into them uh, completely. But that is something we must keep our eye on. So at, at the end of the day, uh, what I will say is, yes, I think, Tony, your idea about filing suits is fantastic. We need to set up a group of lawyers because the same lawyers are doing the work over and over again. We really need to spread our net. That's something I can try and help. We, we get more lawyers on board. I too think the courts are the best place to take our grievances, whatever grievances we may have. Even if we lose, even if we lose, let the evidence come out. That's, that's to me critical. So I think we should try and do something about that and I will talk uh, to a few lawyers about that. Now, I mean, I also think that um, we must consider, I'm going to say this openly, you must consider, and I would invite the opposition, whoever's here, to consider a motion of no confidence. I know you've tried to do it before. But from all that you have said, we have enough grounds to move a motion of confidence against this Prime Minister. And I think you should at least try. It may not get through, it doesn't matter. We may not get through a lot of things. You see, look at the cases that were filed in court. You always file thinking, oh, we're going to lose. But we have won a number of cases. And that's real progress. So whatever it is, as parliamentarians, just do what, use whatever tools are there. A motion of no confidence is one of the tools. So that would be a suggestion. I, in my own view, you've got enough grounds. You have to consider it and see if you have enough grounds. So with that, that's all I have to say. Um, thank you very much for inviting me, uh, YB Lim Kit Siang. Thank you all very much. Terima kasih diucapkan kepada Dato' Amiga. Sesi seterusnya, sesi terbuka untuk pemimpin pertubuhan bukan kerajaan dan juga pemimpin politik yang berada di sidang meja bulat. Dipersilakan. Sesi terbuka. Tiga minit seorang, ya? Mic runners. Kita ada masa untuk lima ke enam orang. Tiga minit seorang. Tiga minit seorang. Okay. Silakan. Ya, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam uh, sejahtera semua. Uh, tiga minit yang diberikan cukup uh, pendek jadi saya cuba percepatkan uh, bagi saya semua semua orang bukan saja parti politik tapi juga NGO-NGO yang fikir tentang perkara ini kita tahu bagaimana untuk menang pilihan raya semua orang tahu kan um, tetapi masalah dia adalah sama ada seperti mana yang disebut oleh ni saudara Rafizi tadi uh, kita boleh ditunjukkan kepada rakyat satu alternatif yang betul-betul viable. Itu itu dia dia punya. Kita tahu strategi-strategi yang lain tumpukan kepada ini marginal seats dan sebagainya itu kita, kita, kita tahu benda benda itu tapi semua hujah-hujah yang akan di, digunakan tak menjadi jikalau misalnya pembangkang tidak dilihat sebagai satu alternatif yang berkemampuan dan uh, untuk itu dia mesti menjadi government in waiting lah. Sampai sekarang pun kita tidak ada yang disepakati siapa yang akan memimpin itu adalah satu perkara yang amat negatif. Kerana sebenarnya deal making uh, kita memerlukan uh, diperlukan adalah prime minister designate yang boleh lead dan do the deals now. Ya, jadi yang yang ini ni siapa yang nak cakap pada semua orang lain itu belum lagi kalau kita nak kecek dengan Sabah dengan Sarawak untuk Uh, menyokong dan sebagainya. Jadi para Mr. Distinct itu adalah satu perkara yang penting dan kemudiannya mesti ada the team tu. Dan ini sebenarnya membawa saya kepada satu perkara yang uh, lagi penting. Eh? Can the political parties please put the interest of the people first? Can all the political parties put the interest of the people first over 
not just opposition and the government, sometimes you all are arguing about yourself. I'm sure that you are going to, to discuss the seed distribution and, not, and, and so on. I think that is already a wrong start. The right start would be let's have an assessment, let's see who is best. Calon mana yang paling baik di tempat itu, tak kira mana-mana parti. Bolehkah itu datang daripada parti-parti uh, pembangkang yang kita ada sekarang ini? Kalau maknanya kita kita nak menjadi the viable opposition, the prime minister designate yang betul-betul berkemampuan begitu memimpin, you should actually consider the interest, the bigger interest of the people of Malaysia over and above political parties, over and above your own parties. Thank you. Terima kasih Encik Zaid Kamarudin dari Ikram.